Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and today I have a Traveler's Notebook process video for you. I am working in what I'm calling my This Is Me Traveler's Notebook. Um, it's a project I started this year. The goal is to document something about myself each week, kind of a personal journal. So that is what I am currently working through. I have um, a couple of weeks to catch up on, and so I thought I would bring you guys along. I'm going to be primarily using pieces from Paper House Productions. Um, I have a bunch of new papers from them, just a bunch of stuff to play with. So I will definitely link everything down below. Um, I do have a code for Paper House Productions to get you um, an extra percentage off. So I will will have that down below as well. All right, I will put you guys on fast forward. Let's go. Okay, the Traveler's Notebook that I am working in is one of the journey books from Paper House Production. And I like to put the pages together. So I usually tape two pages together. Um, it just makes them a little bit thicker if I decide to use markers and things like that. Plus, if I did an entry on every page, the bulk of this Traveler's Notebook would end up being a little much. So I put two pages together and I know that as I work through this project during the year that I'll probably end up having to go into um, maybe even a couple more Traveler's Notebooks, but that's okay. I'm still excited about working through this project and it's been a lot of fun so far. How stinking cute is this suitcase paper? I love it. I love these stacks of colorful suitcases. And immediately when I saw this, I knew I was going to fussy cut out these suitcases. So I decided to kind of build my page with those in mind. And now I'm looking through some of my other papers. And one of my favorites are these cut apart pieces. So my goal for this traveler's notebook is to share some stories, to share some things about myself but to keep it really easy. I don't wanna overthink the pages. I want it to be an easy process because if I'm gonna do this for an entire year, then it definitely needs to be a simple process. So these cards help a lot because they tell a story, they tell a message, they set a color scheme all in one card and they take up a good amount of space too, in all honesty. So I'm gonna start with the always believe in yourself and I'll use those kinds of reds and oranges as the main parts, the main color scheme for my page and build off of there. So I pick up this dotted yellow one with this fun paint splatter and I'm going to use it to kind of mat the picture of myself in the top left corner. And then I'm still going to keep my suitcases, of course, because there is a lot of red and yellow in that stack of suitcases that I have chosen. So matting this picture and then I'll just start adhering things onto the page. I am using my Scotch adhesive tape glider. I will link it below. It has a really strong adhesive and because this is gonna be in a traveler's notebook, it's kind of out in the open, I don't skimp on the adhesive. I put plenty down because I wanna make sure that everything sticks really nicely. Because that card is going over the gutter of the page, the fold in the page, I'm gonna be really careful and make sure I go ahead and put that crease there so that it will close and then start placing these pictures on. The story that I am wanting to tell in this particular page is, is about confidence. And a lot of people think that I'm a rather confident person. Um, I just come off that way, I guess. But I wanted to share that I, I struggle. I struggle with confidence. And specifically, I struggle with the way I look and the way that I'm aging. It definitely feels like the aging process has like sped up times a million in the past year. And it can make me feel a little bit down. I feel like I look tired. Um, and there's certainly things that I'm doing to be healthy and drink water and exercise and get more sleep is something I need to continue to work on. But I wanted to share that I, I struggle. I just, that was really the the point of the page. Like I have these pictures from when we were going to go out with friends for the first time in like forever. And I had to text my sisters to ask them about if, if my boots go with my outfit. And I was really unsure about just what it meant to get dressed up again, to like go out in real clothes, to not be wearing loungewear. And I felt um, just kind of weird and unusual and anxious about it. And I think that that's something we all kind of encounter. And I wanted to just 
document that struggle. Um, again, this is a book for myself to just kind of work through um, some different things to tell some different parts of my story. And then I kind of imagine it as a snapshot for my kids to have someday so that they can see um, what I was like, what I was thinking, what I was feeling in this time period of my life. Okay, I have pulled out my acrylograph markers and am using this deep red color to write out the word confidence. I'll go back over it to make it a little bit more bold on the downstrokes, add a little bit more oomph to it. And then I'll come back with a Papermate flare pen and do a little bit of journaling over on the right side of the page, just about how I feel at times, what I feel about aging and um, what I'm working on in, in those areas. Really just my mental state and being more accepting and embracing of the aging process. And the last thing I'll do on this page is pull out my Studio Calico Mega Date Stamp, my favorite date stamp, and add the date of this picture so that it's documented for that week of the year. All right, and once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and flip to my next layout because like I said, I was a week behind. I needed to do a little bit of catch up. So again, I will tape two pages together. To me, the easiest way to do that and make sure they're straight is to apply the tape to the page and then just close the traveler's notebook and that will line them up how it's naturally going to line up. You don't have to worry about wrinkles. Now, I didn't have a selfie from this week, but what I did have is a picture of my messy, messy nails from a recent craft, uh, crafting time, craft day, I got a gel plate, which if you haven't heard of a gel plate, I have a video coming out all about me playing with a gel plate and it is messy and I have acrylic paint all over my nails and I just wanted to document how fun it was to try something new. As someone that does a lot of creative things and has been crafting for a long time, it is still so exciting to me to try a new technique, a new tool, and even if it gets messy and my nails are ugly and covered with paint, to me it's not so ugly. It's um, kind of representative of a morning of just fun playing and creative play. Purple was definitely the color scheme I was going for here. So I have this beautiful purple marbled paper from Paper House and I kind of roughly um, measured and now I'm just gonna trim it out so it fits there on the left side. I have my picture here and then I have this card that says make ideas happen because I have been wanting that gel plate forever and I have no idea why it took me so long to get it. But now that I have it, I'm just so excited to try new things and make some new ideas happen for sure. Now it was hard for me to cut out that purple marble because on the backside were the cards. And I already told you, I really love these cards. Um, so I'll probably be ordering another sheet of this just because I want to have both. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna do my date stamp. And I had some leftover trimmings of where the card side of that paper would have been, if that makes sense. And so I'm going to stamp on those leftovers. And in that way, I kind of preserved the rest of the cards that were on that sheet. They're definitely still usable. And I'll be able to use this little pop of purple and pink over here. So again, my mega date stamp, because that's kind of the stamp I'm using on the regular in this particular project and filling in the date that this picture was taken. I'm just using my acrylograph pen because when I went over the foil, the VersaFine Onyx Black ink didn't really take well. So the acrylic paint that is in those acrylic graph pens um, works really nicely. So just going over that one part and figuring out where I can put my date. So something that I'm loving about this particular project is that there are not really any rules per se. I'm just enjoying putting things down on the paper and playing with beautiful supplies, playing with stickers, playing with this gorgeous paper, some fun techniques, and just kind of plopping things down, plunking them down to wherever they feel like they go and not really worrying about whether it's gonna be an Instagram worthy project. Now, the irony of that is that of course I'm making a video, but I wanted to make the series of videos to kind of share with you, not everything has to take a really long time as far as crafting. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can have fun, you can feel creative, 
just spending some time in your craft space, in your creative space, playing with paper and stickers, and you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. So I've, I've grabbed this set of stickers that has all of these beautiful jewel tones. And again, I'm just decorating with them. It's not really rhyme or reason. I have all of these cute arrows. I do like to cover up edges and um, corners just to soften them up a little bit. So that's why I have that purple heart there and these little arrows that kind of cover up that edge. And then I'll go through and add a few stars here and there on corners or where two pieces meet up just because I find that um, it kind of softens the edge for that. So I really like that. Adding some gold because I love, love, love those shiny elements. They don't photograph well, but they look gorgeous in person. So I'm all about those gold stars and the gold foil. Um, so cute. Okay, so I'm going over to the left side because that's where my title and my journaling is going to be. And you're going to see me play with multiple markers because I am impatient with paint pens. The first one I'm using is the Artistro paint pen that one of my subscribers sent me. And it's a beautiful pen, really fine tipped, but I did not shake it enough and it kept kind of, it was too watery and I couldn't really see it. So then I decided to come back with my Posca paint pen, which is a nice bold line. You can see not fine tipped at all, but but again, I did not shake it enough and it was coming out too watery. I need to get more patient with my paint pens. You have to shake a paint pen every time for a good like 30 seconds to get it to get it going. And it's hard for me sometimes to be patient enough to do that. But once you do, I mean, look at the beautiful coverage of this Posca paint pen. It absolutely worked Um worked beautifully, like I said, but I just needed to shake it and activate it a little bit more. Now I'm coming back with my acrylograph pen. Once that is all dry, I'll pull out one of my acrylograph markers. Same deal, those are paint pens, and I will be tracing the outside, which is something I've really been enjoying doing lately, just tracing um, my hand lettering, and it really makes the title pop very nicely. In fact, now that I'm watching it now, I kind of want to take that acrylograph pen and go add some shadowing to the lettering that's on the right side of the page with that card. So I might go back and do that. Even though I've already photographed this project and everything, I think that would probably look super nice. So I've sped this up a lot. I'm going super fast right here, but um, I take my time tracing out all of the little pieces for Get Messy, and then I'll come in and add some journaling to wrap up this page. All right, the last thing I do for this page is add a few little doodle hearts here and there, and then I'm gonna come back with my gold acrylograph pen and add some little dots just so that there's a little bit of shine on the left side of the page. Like I said, I've really been enjoying this project. I encourage you to kind of start a project of your own where you're telling your own stories, where you're kind of digging in, telling who you are and what you're like in this moment. I think that those are projects that will be treasured for a long time. Um, if you're interested in any of these products, don't forget I have them linked down below. I also have a code for Paperhouse Productions that will save you a little money and some affiliate links down below. So um, check all of those out for sure. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.